Welcome back to Crypto Front. This is the front line where we are fighting for financial freedom. And what a day we are having here with the Jasmine price set. We are seeing that we are breaking this downward stopping resistance here. And uh, that's great, obviously. I have been saying that here with Jasmine, according to the structures that we have been following, I think that is very, very much likely that for this post cycle, we could see a price that gets as high as something like 53 cents here for Jasmine, coming off of the Velo fractal that we have been following like quite closely. And uh, here, I, I still want to reiterate this. Uh, in the case of a total uh, collapse of the market, right? Should things uh, continue to be worse here, I think that uh, we would be seeing Jasmine supported uh, pretty much strongly right around something like 2.8 cents. I think I've also made it a, a point that, uh, look, that 2.8 cents is a price I get for the worst case scenario. But in the meantime, we are currently being supported in this two zones right there. So this was the first one, which you can see that initially we had a bounce of that. And then we got rejected by the downward stopping resistance as well. We, we got to the second one and then we eventually broke out of that. So that is definitely a good sign. But are we out of the woods just yet? I don't think so. I think we need to see more follow through with this here because once you just uh, go ahead and grab your Fibonacci retracement tools, by the let me quickly do that from the top right there to the bottom that we were having, you can still see that we haven't even touched the, the major ones. Usually, uh, these altcoins are being rejected at something like the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level. That's something like 3.8 cents here for Jasmine. And uh, the big one is always uh, this, um, uh, something like the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. That's uh, 3.95. Basically, that's 4 cents, right? So we still want to see Jasmine uh, rising all the way to something like 4 cents or something like that. You know, close a few candles, maybe a few four-hourly candles right above that zone. So that we can maybe say that, you know what, uh, the scenario of dropping to something like 2.8 uh, cents is probably out of the picture right at this point. And also really it depends on where the rest of the market is and uh, i'm going to be showing you where the rest of the market is really looking at like major charts and then we are going to be coming back to the jasmine price to show you where exactly we are on our road to something like 100 or sorry i'm saying 120 but on our road to a dollar 20 here for jasmine as well as uh, that 53 cents uh milestone that we are waiting for here on jasmine but before we do that i want to kindly ask you to help me spread the video just by delicately tapping the like button it really helps the YouTube algorithm and people looking for Jasmine content will not be able to find this video much more easily. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, I want to encourage you to do so really because I do a TA on Jasmine and a number of outcomes on a regular basis. And without me further running my mouth too much, let's get back right into uh, the charts. Right there. So we are taking a look at the total three first of all, because I think this really is one of the massive uh, good news that we have in this market. You can see that... Um, I was putting this fractal here on top, but what we are having here is uh, just, you know, support off of this upper sloping support here for the total three. Basically, this is the market cap of outwinds, excluding Ethereum uh, and Bitcoin, obviously, right? So what we are seeing is the same kind of price action that we have seen in previous bull cycles, especially referencing to the last bull cycle that we had in 2021 after, you know, the accumulation phase here. Let me quickly go back to 35 can after experiencing this kind of accumulation here you can see like of accumulation pattern also uh including the 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 c19 uh you know news and stuff like that the pandemic but you can see that uh, you had some kind of working out that you had to do here before you had uh hit it out for you know continued upward price uh action here for for the rest of the market and we are seeing quite uh, the same thing happening here and uh that's you know obviously a good sign uh, that's the thing that I've been holding on to in the last, um, you know, a few weeks because I think it's it's painting a very nice uh, picture for the rest of the market. So we'll see what eventually happens this this week. But I think that we are going to be experiencing bread price action, and uh, you can see where we are headed with the rest of the market. So that's what good. I mean, one good thing. I mean, the total two as well is showing us that uh, it's it's looking great. And um, what does that mean? Obviously, it means that Jasmine is going to be benefiting from all that a kind of price section right there but let's quickly look at where we are relative to that uh road to a dollar 20 that we have been talking about here with jasmine i've uh, gone on to show you the all-time price section of jasmine here which really has been brutal you can see jasmine was at five dollars at some point but really that should not be considered because circulation at that point was way less compared to the total circulation so there was a lot of dilution that happened throughout here and uh yeah, I really don't blame people who entered into Jasmine earlier, but they should have, of course, have uh, taken a look at uh, what the circulation was like. But here, what we are seeing is a fantastic structure that in, in the past has always indicated that uh, 
uh, we could have you know price section as 25x 50x 100x all uh, those gains have come from a structure like this one and i'm going to be showing you obviously examples the first example that i want to give you here is uh, cardano right so that's ada so basically when you pull out this cardano price set here you i mean you can easily say that it's the jasmine uh, price set right there right so it's pretty much the same thing and uh I think the trajectory is clear we are looking at a fantastic price section so not only was uh, cardano giving us that kind of a structure but we were also seeing uh, the same price action even for from ethereum right so uh, ether the king of altcoins itself was having a fantastic structure but and unfortunately you still hear people saying that uh, jasmine is going to zero well you know i have no idea where, where, where that is coming from but you see that um, even ethereum made the same kind of a price action that jasmine is experiencing right now which is obviously positive because it gives us you know an idea of like the best case scenarios that we should be ex expecting for jasmine as well as the worst case scenarios why they were so ethereum was obviously the best case scenario because if we just use our fibonacci extension tools yeah on this ethereum price set here we're gonna see that uh, it stretched all the way to something like the 3.618 fibonacci extension level let's quickly do that here and you can see yeah it was reaching something like the 3.618 but should we come back to the jasmine price set and uh, working with ethereum as our best case scenario we are going to see that uh, you know it has the same price set obviously but uh, the standard way of measuring this thing is only the fibonacci adjustment to and uh, should jasmine go as high as something like the 3.618 fibonacci extension level we will be seeing jasmine right around uh, something here like a uh, dollar 18 cents a dollar 20 right there that's great for cardano we had something like the 2.618 which will be 86 cents for jasmine i think these are the the two best case scenarios that we have and uh, obviously i'll be expecting great things to be happening from there now should we go back to the 53 cents that i mentioned uh, with um with velo i think um that one is is much more realistic and uh, i think from a time from perspective we could get that one obviously before we get to something like um you know 3.6 uh 1 8 fibonacci extension level because that 53 cents is only the 1.618 fibonacci extension level right there so let me quickly pull out velo and then we'll, we'll, we'll call it a wrap for today but yeah this is the velo price set and uh you can see here this is a cycle of its own but should we just adjust this jasmine price on top here you can see that we really have got uh, the same uh, price section here take a look at the dropping structure here and the bottoming structure as well pretty much the same thing that we are experiencing i've always said that we were at this stage where we were just ranging sideways break out we're expecting a violent back test this is where the 2.8 cents comes into play but you know it's obviously not a given that we are going to be having something like that but ultimately here the price target is something like uh, 53 cents for jasmine so yeah i hope everything is, is very much clear and uh you know i, I hope we get this uh, fingers crossed right so remember none of what i say is financial advice and you shouldn't be buying or selling anything because of anything i say all right but if you like the content don't forget to delicately tap the like button share the video with your friends and family and then i'll have to see you on the very next one take really really good care of yourselves bye